Uh, hello, friends. How's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff. This is part two of on this particular battle. Um, this is the second phase. We didn't do anything, and um, this this probably isn't even going to work. But um, we're just going to have these guys. Basically, head over here. And uh, we'll just let it get going. Um, Like, right now, the enemy doesn't know where we are, and so we should have no problems getting over to here. Now, to go any further, um, their cavalry is going to come over here and find us, and uh, that's going to, you know, complicate things because they got, they spawned right over here. And I can just give a brief that uh, normally, and uh, let me get this guy moving though. Um, normally, and let's get him moving, please. Gotta make sure everybody is moving. Normally the way it is, is that um, you could take the first flag and you could pretty much like in the UI mod, you can take the first flag, which is this one right here, and you could hold this area because normally the enemy would spawn over here, and then they move over this way, and they might have a gun and a skirmisher and maybe one infantry protecting this flag. Well, now they spawn right here. So if you have this, there's only one place for them to go, and then they still stay in this area so if you set up over here, they're going to come here, and they, they've they got this crazy charging effect where they're at, they're two stars or three stars, and they, and they, and they have like uh, 2,800, 2,900, and they, they just keep going, like they don't stop, no matter what, and, um, So I'm going to put one unit there, one unit there, one unit there. That's the first thing, but the second thing is that, um, so now we have our rookie core, and so I gotta figure out a stage in place for them where they're not gonna get uh, intercepted. And what we want is a combined effect of the forces. Because the Union is is very strong right now. Like, they are, like, super strong. I mean, they're, 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 they're higher in, in perks. And they are, like, twice the size of what I am like they're they're like I mean they're over twice they're like two and a, they're, t they're like two and a half times the size of my units and and that in itself is one thing but the other thing about it is I still have duplicates on and and we don't get any allies so we don't get any duplicates or tr you know whatever it's called but um And that's not even taking that into consideration when you see a infantry unit that is like 2,900 people 
and I'm only putting in 1,250. Now you would say, okay, well maybe I need to bump up to 2,000 maybe, but you know, that's, that's more rifles that I have to buy, that's more money that it's gonna cost, and this here, at least half my army has rifles. Yeah, why don't you guys try to get over here? But as soon as that cavalry comes up here and spots us, we're in trouble if we don't have it already set up. And the idea is to get into here and then fall back to this line here when they push us out. And, and trust me, three of their 2,900 infantry that are two stars, they go like a freight train and they just keep on going. And it's like, and so that that so that tells me that I have no choice but to to do it this way because doing it any other way, and even doing it this way, if I don't have my whole force with me, um, they can blow through my lines. <laughs> like they they could just <laughs> they could just blow through my lines. And I know this is boring, but oh. But it ain't going to be boring once they discover where I am. I'll be wiped out in like no time. Like it, it, it takes them five minutes to wipe me out. Like five minutes. And the reason I'm just doing it one by one is because they might move faster if they're one by one. And like I said, my hope is to get into these woods. But the cavalry is nearby, and I and if it springs too early, and I don't get into these woods before I'm discovered, Yeah, so if he can get there, if this guy can get there, this one can get here, why don't you move right there, and you move right there, and this is probably where their calf is, but, I mean, we, we've got to try this. Cause I would like to hit them while they're right here, here, but um, and then if I can get some flanking shots, maybe I can survive their onslaught of you know these giant units. Oh, uh, yep, they see us. So there's somebody real close. There is somebody real close. There is somebody real close. Ah, those skirmishers. Fire! Fire! I'm gonna put all guns. I'm gonna put all guns on him, but um. Let me see if I can...
get these units. Uh, I want to make sure all the units are moving. Um, let me see. Yep. Okay. All right. So, like I said, uh, <laughs> see there. Okay. See right here, twenty nine, thirty five. It looks like heroic. I mean. This guy's gonna come in here like a freight train along with two more of these these guys. And and he can he can he can push us all the way back to the guns and stuff and and a couple of these guys will shatter. Um like he has done that uh just not too long ago. So I had to redo this. And um and 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 uh, that's all I can say at the moment. And I'm gonna try to get him, this guy, to get right over here, so that he can do some flanking shots. Uh, the cab is gonna have to get over here. Um, and uh, this infantry has to get here, and and this one has to get over here. And he has to get right there. Because right now, they're just staging up. And here they come. See, see how he just keeps coming no matter what. And he usually has, yeah, he has another, he has, he has, he has two right here that are setting up. So if we don't even hold this guy off, how are we gonna hold the other two when they charge?
I don't even think I need this guy here. I gotta move him up over here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this. Oh yeah, look, I just lost that unit. Oh, he surrendered. Yep, I lost a skirmisher. That was that one I made with that special gun. Um, I wanted to try it out, but like I said, he was a rookie. And these guys cannot get here fast enough. They, they can't get here fast enough.
Yeah, yikes, I can't take it. <laughs> hey, uh, did, did somebody just dissolve here? Like, did one of their big units dissolve? Because that would be a victory in itself right there, that one of them are downed. We were working on him, but I, I had to pull back my cavalry because, you know, these guys are going to, you know, and then when, are, when is this one going to move in? So they had three infantry. So I don't know. I want to tell him to go there. You shoot at him, yeah. You go shoot at him. You're shooting at him. He's routing. You're shooting at him now. You got your target. You have your target. And you have your target. And in fact, you two, we might be able to get over to here, maybe. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I don't know if the strategy is even going to work, but I am going to give it a try because, like I said, uh, you see now that is. I mean, if those three would have hit at the exact same time, they would have blown me right out into here. Like, I am not kidding you. And I'm doing everything I can to try to, try to hold them big units. And luckily, we just destroyed one. But he could easily, like, like, I tried this earlier, and I can tell you that I had two or three of mine uh, just dissolving. Just from one of them coming into the three of them, I had two that dissolved. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, like, whatever. And I don't, and I don't know where their second one went. I can see this one. I, you just got to tell these guys, you know, I got to tell them not to shoot and just tell them to get to a certain point because, man, I, I, I cannot stand the fact that it's like they're not even moving when you target somebody. It's like they want to stay at the outer edge and it's like kind of, I don't want that. I want them to get into a certain position. That's where I want them. Okay, now you can open up. Now you can open up. Let's see, go ahead. And I forgot about these guys. <laughs>
Oh, I forgot to take, tell him to shoot. Jeez, not good. Okay. Man, I'll tell you. He wants to come and charge, we'll charge into him and see what happens. Well, I think that's it. I don't can't do anything else until I do something with these big units. Alright, maybe this wing can come over here so we can see what's going on over there. Maybe.
Right now we're gonna try to see if we can get over here now. Now that we kind of handled this force a little bit. <laughs> this cavalry wants to just stay right there. Killed that unit. Okay, so we got that one, and we'll try to get this one right here. And now we'll charge him and try to kill Porter. We are going to try to get everybody moving again because we're kind of stag stagging so we got we to gotta move forward.
Oh man. Okay, come on, guys. Trying to conduct this. Let's go. Man, this is tough. I would just like to wipe out these units so I don't have to worry about this flank. Yeah, once I get these guns here, I think I'll have a little bit better chance of holding this. Okay, so, all right. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, call it right here for now break the defenses before nightfall so i'm gonna like uh save this and and take a break because um i had to really concentrate on this to try to make sure that um i can pull off a victory here um i'm close to getting this but they're gonna they're gonna send whatever they got left at us but these two these three giant units that were over here, um, that that was problematic big time, <laughs> I'll tell you. But anyways, okay, so no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. 
Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.